For decades, Israel has received billions of dollars in military aid from the United States each year. Currently, the U.S. and Israel are disputing over how much assistance Jerusalem will receive over the next 10 years. Veteran Israeli diplomat Yoram Edinger is now advising the Israeli leaders to wean the Jewish state off of the American assistance. And he sat down with ILTV's Steve Leibowitz to tell us why. You've advised a number of uh, Israeli prime ministers over the years. If you were to give some advice these days, would you say that it's about time that Israel stopped asking for and receiving American aid? Well, uh, in my own uh, assessment, uh, so-called foreign aid has become increasingly a liability rather than an asset to uh, Israel. Objectively speaking, Israel does not belong to the category of foreign aid recipients. We are not Afghanistan or Pakistan or Egypt or Jordan or Kenya or Rwanda or Burundi and other such countries who are... We don't need charity. We don't need charity. We are the global leaders along with the U.S. in the development of unmanned aerial vehicles. We are, along with the U.S., the global leaders in the research, in the uh, uh, production, in the launching of uh, many uh, small and medium-sized space uh, satellites. We are the battle-tested laboratory of the American defense industry. We can manage without their aid, and, and why do we keep insisting on getting it? We, we should strive for more and more cooperation with the U.S. rather than receiving aid from the U.S. The $3.1 billion, which is called erroneously foreign aid, is not foreign aid. This is a $3.1 billion American investment in Israel, which produces a return dramatically higher than 100%. If there would not be an Israel in the eastern flank of the Mediterranean, the U.S. would have to dispatch few more U.S. military divisions to the Middle East. They would have to deploy few more aircraft carriers to the Mediterranean and to the Indian Ocean, the cost of which would be maybe 20, maybe more than 20 billion dollars annually, all of which is spared by one Jewish state in the area. And therefore, the 3.1 billion dollar is roughly one seventh of what it would cost the U.S. to remain in the Middle East without an Israel. And I haven't mentioned yet the Israeli contribution to the American intelligence, which as far as the chairman of the Senate and the House Intelligence Committee exceeds the intelligence which the U.S. receives from all NATO countries combined. Israeli intelligence has spared the U.S. much calamity from the hands of Muslim terrorists. Israeli intelligence has spared the U.S. mega billion dollar expenditure as a result of such Islamic terrorist uh, acts. And Israel has produced for the U.S. research and development in the area of ballistic capabilities, in the area of space uh, uh, shuttles, in the areas of civilian and military high tech, which by far exceed, by far exceeds anything which is called today, erroneously, foreign aid to Israel. Yoram Edinger, as always, a pleasure having you at ILTV. Thank you very much.